Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to basically share an email with you uh, that I've just got um, from my kids' gymnastics club. And this, I think, is quite relevant to some of the discussions that have been happening in the judo forums and uh, and just in general, some of the conversations I've heard. So my kids attend a gymnastics club local to us. They've got a full-time place, must be around six to 8,000 square feet, this full-time place. Uh, the classes are absolutely stacked and they sent an email to us um, basically asking whether we know of any other premises. Um, they're looking for another premises around about 8,500 square foot, which is a decent chunk of money okay to be able to rent somewhere like that and this isn't to replace the one that they've got it's to add to so their their email basically said to us that they've got a waiting list of thousands of children waiting to do gymnastics with them okay now it's not cheap the i think for our two children who are like five and six we pay close to 80 pounds a month and that's for one class a week that's all they do uh, and they go along more than happy to pay for it, they enjoy it, uh, they learn some good skills. But this is, like, this place has loads of coaches, they're full-time office staff, full-time admin staff, uh, the coaches are there, they run a really good service, and they charge a lot of money. So the, we, I've banged the drum about this all the time, about how actually... Judo doesn't benefit from trying to actually place itself as the cheapest sport. It just means it offers the less value to children growing up. What we should be focusing on is actually adding more services. What can we do more? How many more classes can we do? How can we encourage children to, to come and do more classes? So for any of you that are thinking the, the best thing for judo to do now, today, is actually lower our prices or advertise how cheap we are, it's just not going to work. It's not the price. Parents do not care. Well, no. Parents do care about the price. That That's not true. What they care about most are the values, the, the, the benefits that you can offer your child. So actually don't try and be the cheapest club. Don't do that. Just try and be the best club. Try and offer more services. I posted out uh, a little poll on the, the Judo Coach forum and... Um, I just asked how many clubs are in there and the, the biggest club section was they had between 10 and 50 members within their clubs. Now, there were some with more, some up to sort of 200. That's still not a lot. When we're looking at gymnastic clubs that are saying they need to open another full-time venue because they've got so many people doing uh, gymnastics with them and their waiting list is so much, we need to really rethink what we can do. And where is this support? Where are we gonna get the support from? Who is helping us? Who is the driving force to get more children on your mats? And that's the question, where are we gonna get it from? And as collective, as coaches, we should be thinking about, well, how can we do it? What are people doing? Looking at gymnastics, what are they doing differently? What are the martial arts clubs doing down the road differently to you? Because they've got many, many children doing their martial art, their sport, and that's where we need to be. So anyway, only a quick video. Uh, just needed to get it off my chest, really. Let me know what you think down below. Let me hear your comments. Please feel free to share this video as well. And uh, I'll speak to you all very soon.